Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ademola Badmos. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe and also share among friends. Um, we have um, been able to write a test to automate a Flutter application using Apium and we have been able to test that same single code of test, the code block of test that we wrote, that we had written. We have been able to test it on an Android platform and as well on an iOS platform. So let us try to improve that code and in introduce page object modeling so we can have something very neat. So let's get into the code. So um, in the code structure, we do not need these files anymore. So let's just remove these ones. In the code structure, neither do we need this so we can collapse this as well. So in the code structure, we have specs here and we have the file in it. So we we'll want to create an additional folder in the test um, structure. So we'll create a new folder. Let's call the folder page objects for obvious reasons, because we are trying to do a page object model. So in this page object um, folder, we are going to create a file. Let's call it, um, um, I think screens. Screens is better. Screens or page. The JS. Now, these are the conventions you follow when you're doing this web driver I/O. Now, in this place, I just want to show you how you can make your code a bit neater. So, let me just copy all of this. Let me use this code sample to do the same thing. So, I will just copy this um, for now, and I will take it here. I will put it in inside the X. Yeah. So for now, what I will do is um, I would um, comment this out and start building my page objects here. So I would have um, a class. So I will create a class here. Let's call the class um, screen page, right? For obvious reasons, we are talking about the screens. So now let's begin to copy things out. So in here, we can create a class. Let me create a method rather. We've created a class, but let's create a method here. So to start the method, I will do an async and um, let's call it we want to click the get started button so we say click get started button so the method ideally just shows us just tells us what it does so we can just copy these three lines of code um, let me do this copy it comment it all back and um have this pasted here and um, equally we can have the one for search genes so we do an async again search we'll have the search for genes and uh, in here we can uh, get this and um, also just do this copy and return it back yep and paste that so we've been able to create two classes so i think we do not need this anymore two methods under a class pardon me that's what we've been able to create so now that we've done that so the final part is just to make sure that this um this class that we've just created is accessible anywhere else right so we can do a new we instantiate it to the screen page class that we just created so with this being done the screen page class can be accessible here so which means when we are here now Instead of having this, we can have um, this instead. We can have, let's call it screen. 
let's go to the screen it requires what what does it require it requires some elements from the neighboring folder from inside the screens page so instead of having all of this we can just have uh, and await and what are we going to be awaiting the screen dot um, the click started button to click the get started button and uh, we can also have an await screen again to search for genes as a method that it is so we have cre we have um, been able to reduce the number of steps dramatically we've been able to do that let's just copy this so we can paste it back so let me undo before we did all of this and see what we have then right now we have um, um let's let's do that let's do that okay so we have 12 steps but now we have um seven so we've been able to reduce it let's still test this i think we have our simulator still on so let's test for ios see what happens if um, our modification has scattered what we had which i really doubt um it's launched it oh it has failed now ios is just misbehaving i will run this again and i have no doubt that it will pass so let's see that again let's see it run mm. as you can see it passed so that concludes our um, series here but on a final note i wanted to add something to the package of json file in the test script part the code that we run here i can copy this let me just copy it we can um, do and control c so i can create um uh, let's say run i os and under run ios i will have the command and i can also create run apk trying to keep it uniform I put this here and instead of iOS, I'll add Android to it. So with this, since we are still we still have our simulator on, so we can do npm run run iOS. Or let's give it a better name. iOS run. And um APK run right so so you say npm run ios run and we click that and as you can see it has brought out the command and uh, we can look at our emulator and see what was going on there like i told you before it's only the ios takes only it only takes time on the first try because that flag has been set to no reset and um, like we expect the false positive from the iOS what error did it give? it just comes up with very very funny bizarre errors and immediately afterwards it passes very weird okay here we go And as you can see, 
it pumps. So this concludes the series on APM and Flutter using APM to automate Flutter applications using the APM by using the APM Flutter driver and the APM Flutter finder. If you found this helpful and if you've been able to follow from the beginning to the end, I am quite sure that you've been able to gain some little knowledge about automation using um, APM for Flutter apps. So do not forget to like and subscribe and also put on the notification bell because I'll still be putting out more videos on automation. I am on both on mobile and web applications. So far I've done on Cypress and, and I've also done on Java and Selenium, but um, I'm still doing on more like Python and Selenium robot framework and the likes. So thank you once again for getting this far and see you in the next series. Bye-bye.